Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Jay here with us, who's been recently placed at Bank of America as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He's here to share his interview experience with us today. So, Bank of America is a multinational investment bank and a super dream company in VIT. So, before we talk to Jay, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students from the CSC, ECM and IT branches with a CGP of 6 or 60% in 10th, 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing areas were eligible for this role. So now we can go ahead and talk to Jay and understand his experience. Hi Jay, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you Trishna, thank you for having me. Yeah. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, so uh, my name is Jay Gupta. Uh, I am currently a fourth year student at BIT and I am from Kota, Rajasthan. Okay. So recently I got placed at uh, Bank of America uh, through the campus, right? Okay, that's great. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Okay, uh, so essentially uh, there were three rounds. So First, they'll ask you to apply on their website. So when you apply there, uh, you will receive a mail on your uh, email ID uh, about the first round, which is, which has uh, five questions. Okay. So it's a mixed round. You will have a like a video interview with uh, the coding session. Okay. So like they'll ask you one question, like how does your profile uh, fit whatever are the and then you'll have to solve two questions. Right. Then the fourth question will be about uh, like walk us through your logic of the last question. Okay. The question you solved. Hmm. And then again, there's a fifth question uh, regarding the same profile. Okay. Okay. Uh, then. And then, hmm. uh, if you clear that round, hmm. so there are two interview rounds. Okay. So for first round is just uh, like discussing the concept. Hmm. So, uh, for me, the, that round included uh, object-oriented programming, okay. some uh, DBMS okay. and some network. Okay. And uh, when I move forward from that round to the next one, hmm. that was uh, about uh, implementing the object-oriented programming concepts okay. and showing them, like, uh, you have to run your code and show it to them if it works. Okay. And then after that there was... Uh, no, uh, this, this was the final okay. round. So after this round, uh, I got a mail the next day about this. Oh, okay. That's great. And so in the first round of interview there was no coding or anything. There was only theoretical questions. Uh, no, no, no. Like first round, uh, it's video interview. I'm talking about uh, the thing you have to like do on your own time. The first meeting. right. No, in the first interview round, what happened? There was uh, there were technical questions, but they were you didn't have to code anything, right? No, no. Uh, it was uh, just uh, discussion. Okay, no okay, coding. okay. And could you tell us the level of the questions that were there in the second technical round, the coding questions? Those were pretty like intermediate questions. Okay. Like, uh, I was asked to uh, the interviewer gave me like a structure. Right. Uh, like you know uh, basic uh, Java questions mm. you okay. get. Uh, that uh, this is the, uh, this is how it's supposed to be like. Ah, this right, right, class right. Right. Is dependent on this class and mm. things like that. Mm. So uh, basically, I just had to code that. Okay. And then uh, the next question was uh, uh, like implement a program of polymorphism. Okay. So uh, there he uh, tried to trick me actually. Okay. So I coded a program for polymorphism and hmm. he was like, so I uh, coded a uh, runtime polymorphism. Okay. And he asked me like, so this is compile time, right? Okay. So uh, hmm. that kind of thing will also be there. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Okay, that's great and congratulations again. Um, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into super dream companies or 
anything in general if you have anything to say so my suggestion would be focus on the competitive for big part okay because uh, uh, although it might not be the Uh, necessary for the job role right but it, it's what you need to get through the first round at right least. right okay so uh, like you will only be able to get through based on your skills hmm. after you crack the first round right? right. if you can't break in through that first okay. wall hmm. there is no moving forward right okay so yeah that's my suggestion focus on competitive coding okay Okay that's great thanks again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions so yeah thank you a big thanks to everyone who's watching and supporting my videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful that would really motivate me to get more people and get their experiences so thank you